Alright guys, so one of the most common questions that I get right now is about the crashing the manager issue and how to solve it. The manager will basically crash the moment it tries to connect to your sim, which makes it impossible to change or adjust your config settings. Now the reason for why your sim manager crashes is because the old database format doesn't support major config rearrangements. The old database will crash your manager when your sim stores a config that has been removed in a more recent library update. The database will basically see a config that is not supposed to exist anymore. And that is for example the case with the Rainbow Six config profile for the updated aim mechanic. The most recent game library update completely removed this config from the database. So if you still have that config on your sim and your sim operates on the old database format then you basically have a config that is not supposed to exist anymore. And that's why your sim manager is crashing. Now to solve the problem you don't have to delete the config, you just have to update both your sim firmware and sim manager. That way your sim will operate on the new database format which has no problems with configs that aren't supposed to exist anymore. You can update to that database by going into the sim forum. Scroll down to the Apex area and click on the small beta button next to the download section. There you can find the new sim beta firmware as well as the new beta manager. Make sure to update both, it's not sufficient to only update one of the two. Now let's look at the new firmware version. By scrolling down a bit you can find the download links as well as the instruction steps on how to update your sim Apex. As you can see, an update is only possible via PC or Mac, you cannot update your sim firmware via your smartphone or a Chromebook. Also make sure to already hold the P button before you connect your sim to the PC or Mac as otherwise it won't show a solid blue light. Now let's switch over to the sim manager. Again just scroll down until you can see the download links. The instructions are quite easy this time, all you have to do is to use your internet browser of your smartphone and click on the corresponding download link. Android users just have to download the APK file and install it. And for iOS users the Apple TestFlight app will handle the update process. TestFlight is Apple's beta software application, so just click on the download link through Safari and the app will walk you through the whole update process. Once you have updated both your sim firmware and sim manager you should be able to connect to your sim again. So guys if you enjoyed the video hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also contrary to popular belief this channel is not an official sim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest sim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1 to 4 weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus we also have a nice little discord to discuss sim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.